A while back, I cut down a couple trees here so I could put up solar panels. The next step in the process is to put up the solar panels. The bad news there is I don't have all the parts and pieces I need to put up my solar panels. But I've got great news. I'm going to save a ton of money on my solar by switching to doing it my own way instead of doing it the way normal people do it. Or it may just end up being an expensive disaster. But it's only electricity. What could possibly go wrong? I've had several solar guys tell me one of the major expenses of solar is not so much the panels themselves, but the mounting equipment, the mounting racks, the mounting hardware. They all say you could save a lot of money just by building those yourself. A local solar installer who's made his career out of installing solar panels the normal way told me, just make a solar rack out of wood. We have plenty of wood around here, so that's what I'm going to do. I was going to use these 1x6s and 1x4s, then I remembered I have some 1x5s. I think these would be better than the 1x6s. They are straighter, and I think they're just going to be better. I'm going to start by truing up the edges on the 1x5s. Normal people would probably use something like a table saw. I'm going to use the sawmill. A table saw or a track saw would be more accurate and more smooth, but I don't have any of those here. I don't have any of those here because I've never had enough electricity here to run them, which I won't have until I put up the solar panels. You might see where I'm going with that. I've never actually done this before. I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, I have an idea of what I'm doing, but that's all I have is an idea of what I'm doing. Somewhere in this process, we'll probably find out if this is the way to make a solar panel rack or the way not to make a solar panel rack. I started working on what I thought was going to be a well-designed frame. The panels were going to be inset in the frame. The frame and the panels were going to be nice and flush. It looked like it was all coming together nicely, but the more I started working on this wooden frame, the more I started questioning whether I really wanted to build a wooden frame. For one, eventually it's going to rot. Eventually I'm going to have to replace it. Am I really saving money if I have to build it twice? especially considering my time. And maybe an even bigger reason why I'm questioning wood is wildfire. Wood is going to be more vulnerable in a wildfire. I've been thinking eventually I'm going to want to replace the wood with something metal, something where I can keep the panels up off the ground. So if I keep a good defensible space around it, keep the grass mowed low, it would be more likely to survive a low intensity wildfire. I was about to stop and start shopping around for all the normal components for solar panels. Then I started trying to think, what do I already have here? What are my assets? I do have a wheelbarrow, but without a big black cloak to go with it, I don't see what good that's going to do me. Then I remembered something I have stashed away in the back neglected corner of the garden grown over with weeds and brush right there in the corner except it's not there now the moment i thought of it i grabbed a tape measure went down there and measure it to see if it was going to be the right size finding out it was pretty close to the ideal size i quickly packed it up out of here up through the garden and put it up on the flatbed trailer so i could start working on it here it is in all of its glory a gate from a chain link fence 
how many people do you know in the world who are lucky enough to just happen to have a gate from a chain link fence laying around, not being used for anything? I was so excited at the prospects of this being the possible solution, I didn't care that it was getting to be well past my dinner time and starting to drizzle. I decided to put in some overtime, start taking the chain link and hardware off the frame since I still had some daylight left so I could get a head start on the next day. Since I already cut these boards to the length of the solar panels, I decided to use wood to attach the solar panels to the frame. That'll be easy enough to replace someday down the road when I come up with a better solution. The question now, how to attach the wood to the frame? I came up with an idea. Why not just use the things I just took off the frame that only have one purpose, only one reason they were ever made, which is to attach things to this type of frame. Never mind the fact that they were only made to attach chain link to this type of frame. I've just never been the type to not use things for things they weren't made to be used for just because they weren't made to be used for those things. Normal people would probably be inclined to use U-bolts, but I didn't have the right size handy and the U-bolt store is a long distance away. After drilling these the same way, then doing the same procedure to the next two boards, I got these three boards firmly mounted. They are very strong. The tops of the bolts are recessed in the wood so they won't interfere with the panels. I don't see anything wrong with that. It's strong, it's flat, it's even, it's rigid. These are both 425 watt panels. I'll pull this whole unit over so I can reach in from underneath, mark where the mounting holes are on the panels where they line up on the board so I can drill those and then bolt them down. The next step will be to build some kind of a stand for it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but let's go over to my junk pile See what we can find over there. Over in my junk pile, I have all of this. All this chain link tubing. It's got these big, heavy tubes. If I wanted to go the concrete route, I could concrete these into the ground and just attach them to those. Some of these are really thick steel. I also have this. I don't have time to put anything more together today, but I can put my engineering hat on and come up with some ideas now that I know what my assets are. That's good for two panels, but for those who know I'm putting up four panels instead of two, what about the other two? 
Well, take a look at this. I've been using it as a garden gate. It's not a very good garden gate. It's too heavy for what I'm using it for. But it's an exact repeti rep a replica, a replica of that other one. After I get that one put up on a stand and the panels mounted to it, as long as nothing goes wrong, I can just do the same thing with this one. It's only electricity. What could possibly go wrong? I don't have time to continue today. It's supposed to start raining for the next few days. Hopefully we'll get to the rest of that soon. Thanks for watching.